Andre, let's dive on in. We have some great questions. And this first question comes to us via text. And it says, please explain Matthew 8, 22. But Jesus said to him, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. So here we have an interesting question uh, regarding this quote. Dr. Holland, how can we answer this question about the dead burying their own dead? So let's go to Matthew chapter 8 and take a look at this. Uh, Matthew chapter 8 and verse 22. And to give it some context, I'm going to actually read beginning in verse 18. Okay. Jesus said these words. And when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave a command to depart to the other side. Then a certain scribe came and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. Hmm. And so what do we see happening here? Uh, You know, if you're reading in your Bible, and your Bible has little subheadings, it says there, the cost of discipleship. Jesus is talking about the cost to follow him, to walk with him, and to Mm. learn from him as a disciple. And when he makes the first comment about foxes have holes and so on and so forth, he's saying, you know, hey, listen, I don't have a home. I don't have a big mansion that uh, we can all stay in as disciples. We're going to be, you know, itinerant and wandering kind of all over the towns of Judea, ministering to people. Mm. But then this question about, let me go bury my father. Well, it's very interesting when you look at the original, it gives the idea that that man's father is actually not even dead yet. So what's Mm. going on here? Well, this man is wanting to go so he can be there in the home or as a part of the home. So when his father dies, he receives his inheritance. And so when Jesus talks about let the dead bury their own dead, he's making a clear reference to, in order to be my disciple, you can't put material possessions over and above and beyond the spiritual needs or the spiritual uh, well-being of others. And in this case, material things over becoming a disciple. And what it reminds me of, Reuben, is in yeah. Acts chapter 4, uh, excuse me, Acts chapter 24, where uh, Paul is preaching and Felix is there, and Felix is so overcome with things that he says, he says, you go away and come back at a convenient time. And then later Paul writes in Romans 13, 11, now is the time, today is the day, Today is the day of salvation. And so Jesus is making a reference of, listen, let the spiritually dead go bury their dead. If you're going to place materialistic possessions over following me, then you've missed the whole point of what it really means to be a Mm. disciple. Wow, so powerful about that. What Jesus is saying, truly saying there. Thank you so much, Dr. Holland. Dr. Tucci, anything else you'd like to add uh, to this great answer? I think that, For all of us, there's always a temptation to allow Satan to distract us with something other than the mission that God calls us to do. Uh, Hmm. It's easier to to take another route. And Jesus is just making it really clear here. Stay focused. I've called you. Don't don't turn back. Uh, Don't put your head over your shoulder and, you know, look back where you came from. But but stay right on the mission where, where Jesus wants you to be at whatever cost, whatever sacrifice. 